I'm going to do some narration because I didn't do much talking on this video. I basically <clears throat> raided my junk drawers for anything that I could use as prototyping material, I guess. I have these little tokens left over from my orthodontist that I could redeem for prizes when I was going there, but I never used them. They're nice wood circles. Oh yeah, so I hot glued them on to the candy dispenser, made a little belt drive, attached the continuous rotation server up there, and use a rubber band as a belt. Let's see if this works. It had some difficulty turning the dispenser. Yeah, and then I dumped some almonds in there. Jammed. I put two rubber bands on it. I don't know if I showed that. I think I tightened the rubber band after this so it even tighter. Yeah. There's some code. I did all the delays without the satanic delay function, by the way. Later on this will be triggered by the internet. Um, these lights are going to be a buzzer in instead of lights. So it's a beep, delay, dispense, stop. Beep, delay, dispense. Stop. Yeah. Beep. Oh, there's candy coming. Yeah. Um. <laughs> um. Yeah. So this this whole idea is from my van uh, adventure that I want to do. Um, th these will be on the dashboard, and when I do live streams, people can send Bitcoin to a QR code. And when they do, it'll activate the candy dispenser. And I have two candy dispensers. One is green, <clears throat> plural, dispensers. One is green, one is red. And the red one will have something nasty like Harry Potter jelly beans in it. And the green one will have something good like almonds or, I don't know, something good. And so you can choose if you want to treat me or trick me or whatever. Halloween, <laughs> Yep, that's it. Um, work in progress. I've only made one so far. And still the uh, Bitcoin inter integration needs to be done. But that's it for now. Okay, bye.